Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Oh my god, I cannot believe Vlogmas is already here. I have literally just landed um, after an eight hour flight back from Kenya. I'm currently at Heathrow Airport Terminal 4 and I've just stuck on a little bit of makeup on the flight. I gave myself a bit of a facial on the flight. Not that it helps all these like little spots that I'm breaking out in. Look at how tanned I am. I've put on a little bit of makeup, I've just brushed my teeth and we've come through security and all of that and we're about to go and get a cab home. But um, my cousin just reminded me that it's the 1st of December and I had to start vlogging. I was literally on the plane, we landed, I had to sit there for a bit, turned my phone on and the first message I see is from her. This is the same cousin that was like pressurising me to like post videos every single day last year and if it wasn't for her to be fair I probably wouldn't have like been that consistent. And as soon as I landed I had a message from her like two hours before saying where's Vlogmas Day 1 is she? Like I'm waiting for the video and she knew that I was abroad. So obviously this is going to go up tomorrow, there's no video for today but I thought I would start my vlog while I'm in the airport. Here's Jas with all of our luggage. <laughs> we normally um, drive to the airport but airport parking for some reason is like extortionate even though we booked this trip in France. So we parked up at my uncle's house because we kind of had to drive past his to get to the airport anyway and got a taxi so it's a little bit cheaper so we're a little bit relaxed this time aren't we going back. There's no like car to collect and stuff like that. Oh. So we're going to go and try and find where like the Uber pickup point is. Uber level 4 isn't it? What I can remember is level, level 4. four. This is Terminal 4 though, we haven't been to Terminal Where, where before, you pick though. up the, the higher the cars in the terminal, normally it's that same level. Oh, but Car Terminal hat. 2 is different. <laughs> anyway, let's we'll figure it out. Um, I really wanted a good coffee as soon as I've landed, but all I can see is Costa, and I mean, <laughs> that's not a good coffee. So, I think I'll just wait till we get to my uncle's, because they've got like dinner ready for us which is so nice and like my little cousin many me questioned me yesterday and she was like taking the piss she was like you're gonna have to have indian food because they know how sick of it like we are it's so all i've eaten in kenya it's the first trip i've been on where i've just had indian food all holiday and i'm just <laughs> i was like i'm not eating it until 2020 that's obviously a lie um so she was like we've made she literally sent me a message can you share the message what's up um we're looking at the Heathrow terminal four hold on uh. anyone so I messaged her yesterday when we were still in Nairobi and I said, should I come to using your shoulder as a rest? Because I've got my tripod. <laughs> I said, where, where is it? Oh. I said, Anusha, please have sushi ready for us by the time we land because oh, I just want something like that's not bloaty and super filling. She was like, bro, I actually suggest sushi to my parents. They were like, uh, no. But we're having jacket potato with sweet corn, cheese, beans, pickled onions, coleslaw, beetroot and green olives. That is like my ultimate meal. Like all I ever that's want the, after a holiday is jacket potato. The, our, last, our last meal in the UK was at your uncle's house and it's the first meal back at your uncle's house. <laughs> <laughs> I just love going to their house. They have the best food and they just like, I just love everything they cook and anyone that cooks for me and cooks well. I just love it. I'm so excited for Jacob's Taste. It's my favourite meal ever and you can't get it in any other country that I've been to as far as I know. It's always like a side to like a steak or something. Anyway, should we just go? Should we just send them on the Terminal 4, level 1. I think you hear me, level 1 and private hire pickle. How's all the pickle points? Found it. I get it. Oh my god, we're just stepping outside. Ooh, it is breezy. It's not as cold as I thought it would be. Oh my god, so many houses are like properly decorated for Christmas. It's so exciting, but uh, I was falling asleep on that cab journey here. <sighs> There's something about Ubers and like Toyota Priuses just make me feel really like travel sick. We just got to my uncle's house, gonna have some dinner and then just head home, right? And go straight to bed. <coughs> what does that even mean? I don't even have a drag of Sorry, what is this? Is this all your like oh yeah, coursework? Oh my god. There's a lot of you in here. That is on my Instagram. I'm wearing a red There's jumpsuit. Tons of stuff on your Instagram here. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? Can you show me something else? It's very That's really cool. Basically, your whole project was you because my art teacher had a nice place to go. Oh, stop it. Mm -hmm. 
she said it. <laughs> Fine. Maybe she's having a good taste. Show Jess that one. Which one's it? That's a photo of my Instagram. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Sorry. Sorry. That's what I think when I see it. Oh, yeah. okay. The instrument's coming out my hair. That's another you. Oh my god, I remember that picture I sent you on WhatsApp. Yeah. Yeah. That was you early in the morning, fed up with life. <laughs> yes, my hair. Oh my god. I know, right? And Jeez. the whole board is just you, by the way. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Like, you're so good at this. Yeah. Do you want me to help? In any way. Yeah. Whoa. That's another you. These are the photos you took of me that day. Oh, yeah. Sorry, that one's not that great. Oh, uh, yeah. This is. That's actually like a bit of monkey. Thanks. This is all you Why do I have instruments all around me? Because um, my theme was like music and like family and like identity and stuff. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, whoa, look at that. I just pretended I took those photos because. And in dial. Hmm. Oh, those. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. That's off my Instagram. Hmm. Oh, these are all off my Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> so you pretend you took those. That's just great. Is that yeah. this one? Yeah. That's so cool. It's a line drawing. Yeah. Oh, there. Oh, my God. That's so cool. That's hilarious. It's just you. Your teacher's watching this. She'll be like, hmm. Hmm, interesting. That is so cool. Mm, that's cool. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that one's that one was so good. Wow, that? I think I saw these, didn't I? With the whole family. <laughs> yeah, that was I look so grumpy. Yeah, initially I had to cut out what you said here because there was a lot of swearing in that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to be like, crap! Because <laughs> <laughs> you were so rude, you were like, I just woke up. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Sounds about right. Oh, my God, that looks just like our sofa as well, mm. the little lions. Okay, that's what do. do the little pose of this. <laughs> do the little pose. <laughs> the hand with this. <laughs> you look so cute. I still do look cute. No, not anymore. <laughs> you little doll. Yeah, little doll is <laughs> What happened to you? You happened to me! <laughs> Oh my god, the state of me. Um, we are home, we have all of our luggage. It's so nice to come back to like a really clean house. I properly deep cleaned this house before we left because I thought, do you know what? Just in case I come back and I wanna launch straight into Vlogmas, I don't wanna be like on camera cleaning the house and stuff like that. I look so orange. This literally looks like a fake tan, but it's not. And like my concealer, which is on the same shade as my skin, looks like a highlighter on me. It's ridiculous. Is it like eight o'clock? Yes, yeah. Oh my God, it is 8 p.m., which means, which means it's 11 p.m. in Kenya, and we would have been fast asleep. Like we were going to bed at 9 30 10 p.m every night because we're waking up at five or six sometimes even 4 30 like this morning <clears throat> it's way past our bedtime but i don't want to go to bed yet because it's quarter past eight or ten past eight i'm gonna unzip the bag so we need to get the charger like phone chargers and stuff out um, i'm not gonna put any laundry on normally the first thing i do when i get back from a trip is put the laundry on but it's just too late at the moment i'm gonna separate the laundry ready to put on in the morning and I need to do some work. Um, it's so annoying in the last couple of days. We haven't really had much Wi-Fi while we've been in Kenya. It's been pretty crappy. And I've had two emails about sponsored posts that needed to go up this weekend. And I thought maybe I'd get a chance at the airport because we were like super early, but we almost missed our flight because the security in Nairobi is ridiculous. There's like a whole security thing just to get into the airport before you check in. Then you have to go through the regular security. Passport control is a nightmare if you're foreign. And then there's like more security before you board the flight. So we almost missed our flight. Like we were just three hours and security was ridiculous. Anyway, I'm going to do some work and then maybe unpack the suitcases and then go to bed. So, yeah. It's now nine o'clock and Jas has made a start on like 
just opening up the suitcases i'm going to start taking out some of the clothes a lot of the stuff in the suitcases doesn't even belong to me it's all like just stuff that my gran has bought for other people because that is what happens when you go to india and kenya everyone orders like loads of food that you can't buy here or stuff that's cheaper here so i just sort all of that out and i've got like loads of handbags that she's bought for like other people as gifts and stuff like that so i'm gonna sort that out um i really don't want to but i want to separate i want to separate some of the laundry into some piles and have one load ready in the machine because just will wake up before me tomorrow when he starts work and say so if he can just put a load on by the time i wake up or whatever it should be on or done and then that'll be quite good because then that's one less thing to do later on in the day <laughs> done i have emptied out both suitcases they're all over the floor in the living room and i've loaded the machine ready for the first lot of laundry to be done in the morning so i'll leave a note for jas and hopefully he remembers to stick that on the minute he wakes up so that one load's done i don't have like a tumble dryer i have to like dry things on these racks so um obviously it takes a long time to dry because it's winter and I can't stick him outside and um, a lot of our clothes were hand washed while we were staying with family in Nairobi but I just it's just not the same as machine washing it and I feel like there are so many bugs <laughs> all over the place but I just want to wash everything at a high temperature and make sure there's no creepy crawlies in my clothes and make sure they're all properly cleaned so I want to wash everything that we took oh my god it's like half nine quarter to ten and i'm more than ready for bed so i'm going to call it a night here before i go i just wanted to really quickly talk to you about vlogmas because i have no clue what i'm doing i don't know where, whether i'm coming or going at the moment i have so much nairobi content or kenya content in general to post i know a lot of you are waiting for that judging by like my instagram dms i'm thinking I'm not going to be doing vlogmas every single day, like my life isn't that exciting this December now that I'm back from my holiday. Um, I'm going to commit to like three or four times a week, three times a week minimum I think. I don't know, tomorrow I've got a busy day so I think I'll vlog and once I've had some sleep I'll be able to think a bit better and I'll get back to you on exactly how I'm doing vlogmas this year. But for now I'm going to go straight to bed. So thank you so much for watching, I'll see you tomorrow with vlogmas day two.